Hello. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're just gonna be doing a hair and makeup tutorial. Not doing anything too crazy, just kinda wanna get into, you know, this little wig situation that we got going on right here. This video is sponsored by Julia Hair Company. Shout out to you for sponsoring this video and for providing this beautiful wig that we've got going on right here. She's got some highlights, she's got some browns and some blonde, and yes, I'm ready to just kind of chillax and do a wig install and just get my makeup going and everything. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna be doing for makeup once again, so this will be good that I'm doing my hair first. So it gives me time to like think about what I wanna go into as far as like the makeup is concerned. Yeah, so we're just gonna go ahead and get started. So let me go ahead and take this turban off because I have my head, my hair just like wrapped up in a little scarf. This is usually how I have my hair like normally. I have it in cornrows so that way all my wigs just lay like nice and flat right on top of them because I got a really big head and if I <laughs> have my hair just kind of like out then my wigs just look like super bulky and everything and my head looks twice as big and yeah don't need that for my life. I need to write down like a list from now on of like things that I talk I want to talk about in videos because I feel like during the week like as the week goes by like I'll you know just be thinking about stuff or whatever, just like random things. And um, I'll think to myself like, oh, that'd be a cool thing to like mention in a video or something to like everybody, like ask everybody's opinion on. But I never write it down, so I always forget. So note to self to start writing down like idea topics. Or you guys can just ask me in the comments, like ask me what you guys want me to talk about in the comments. Don't be messy now. Like I'm not, I'm not with that. Don't be, don't be all messy and like, ah, oh, like, the drama and yada yada. Mm -mm. Nope, nope, nope. I don't know if I wanna do the bald cap method today. Let's see. I'm just gonna like do like a quick test run to see what it looks like. <laughs> hmm. So here's my idea for the hair. Cause I have like two ideas that I'm thinking about for this hair. Cause it's got some highlights in it. So I'm thinking either I chop it all off. <laughs> So like cut it like a bob type situation and uh, do like a side part or I can not chop it all off, keep it long and maybe do like one of those like cute little pigtail styles that everyone's doing because I kind of like that. It's kind of cute. Like do like the little the bang in the front like that and then do like the middle part with like the pigtails on the back. I'm just gonna pull this up right here. I'm going to grab my little scissors. I'm just gonna cut a little hole right over here and right over here. So I'm gonna go in with my, I literally have like new eyebrows. <laughs> I'm just kidding, let me stop. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my Got To Be High Insta Hold Hairspray. I use this for literally everything. I use this to secure my wigs. When I am doing the ball cap method, I use this to secure my wig cap. I literally use it for everything, even to like style my edges at some time. So I'm just gonna use this to um, secure this wig cap down and then I'll go in with my blow dryer to dry it all down. guys so this hairspray is completely dry this hairspray actually dries like a lot faster than the other hairspray so i'm just gonna start cutting away all of this excess wig cap here because we don't need her she can get up out of here no i didn't let it dry all the way no there was like a clump of hair there that was like stopping it from drying all the way onto the skin Okay, I think it'll work out. I don't think it's that bad. I think once I put like my foundation on, it'll be fine. So what are you guys thinking for Halloween? Like what is everyone doing? Are you guys dressing up and stuff? Let me know if, what kind of like Halloween looks that you guys 
would want to see this year. Last year I had like a list of like looks that I wanted to do too but I started way too late so I didn't get to finish. So I definitely want to start much earlier this year as far as like you know filming looks and stuff like that so that way I can kind of get all of my ideas out there. The way that time is moving honestly like everything feels like it's like happening so fast. Once September hits it's like I feel like from there the year just speeds by because September comes and then you know you're preparing for Halloween but once Halloween is over you're already in November then you're kind of preparing for Thanksgiving that's also at the end of the month so once you're done with Thanksgiving you're basically preparing for Christmas all of these holidays are towards the end of the month so by the time you're done with one you're basically like thinking about the, the next one it's like before you know it we're already rolling into the next year thank god this is the Ruby Kisses 3D face creator and in number 10 and I'm just gonna take a mixture of both shades right here and use that to tint my bald cap so that way it looks like closer to my skin tone before in the past I would like load up on like foundation the foundation is literally there just to like tint everything so it's your color there's no need to like go in with like tons of product you know so I'm gonna start at the widow's peak right over here and secure that part first since that's like the most snug for me and then I'll go in and like secure the rest of this right here. So I'm all done securing my lace. I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting it all away. I'm gonna be cutting some like hair off in the process because like, Nobody has hair growing right next to their eyebrow like that. I'm just going to cut the center of the lace first, right in the middle. And using my razor, I'm going to go over the edge, just start cutting away all the extra. Everything is getting a lot better here with the fires and everything. Like the sky is finally like clearing up a little bit. A couple of days ago, it was really, really bad. Like if you follow me on Instagram, then you probably saw me post a little video on stories. Like there was like a fire going on like off in the distance when on the way home. And if you looked like at the sky, that was all smoke from the fire. It literally looked like it was about to rain. I think this is like maybe fourth, fifth grade. Like I remember there was like a time where I was living in San Diego, like there was like a really bad like fire happening further up north. All of the smoke was basically traveling down, down south. You just like wake up in the morning, you look at the car, like your, your car basically looks like dusty and it's not dust, it's literally ash from the fires. Like it's really, really insane. I remember the first time that I experienced that as a little kid, I thought like the world was ending or something. So I'm just going in with that same foundation brush that I used to apply that cream foundation. I'm just going over the edges. I think once I put like my bronzer on, I'll probably take a little bit of that bronzer and push it into the lace as well just like a tiny tiny bit to tint it a little bit more because it's still it's like slightly light okay julia hair we see you but let's see what it's looking like because i think i definitely want to do like a side part see if i do that i'm gonna i might just cut it all off mm. i don't know i don't know i'm just gonna do my edges next and then we'll go from there. <laughs> you see how I'm like procrastinating this, right? And I'm gonna go back in with that Insta Hold High, got to be high Insta Hold hairspray. I'm gonna go back in with that and just spray that onto my brush here. Ooh. And, uh, and just use that to style the edges. You know what? I think I'm just gonna keep this long. I think I'm gonna keep it long, put some layers into it, and um, yeah, just call it a day. I like to, well, this is pretty much what works for me. I don't know if it's like the right way or whatever, but it wakes for me. It's gonna pull the crown of the wig. 
and then I'm going to bring it forward. I'm just gonna comb it all forward and I'm going to basically like cut it right there. It's gonna be a little bit choppy, but I'll show you guys like how I basically feather it out. I'll go in with my razor comb and that's what I'll use to kind of like gradually soften those layers that I just created. All right guys, so I just finished flat ironing my hair. I didn't record that part. I did that part off camera because, sweetie, if you don't know how to flat iron your hair, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> so I'm just gonna do like a half up, half down style and I'm gonna put like a bang in the front. So I'm just gonna create like a triangle up here and that's gonna act as like our, our bang. And then the rest of it is just gonna go like in a little top knot up here. And I have my hot comb ready to go too so I can push so basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna push all of this hair up because it's a pretty high top knot. So we want all the hair to kind of like be going in the right direction. Just make sure you're like really getting those roots so that ponytail is nice and flat. I'm gonna take my rubber band and we're just gonna secure that. And then I'll take another rubber band and I'm gonna go like, act as if I'm tying it around the ponytail like again, just like I did before. But instead, I'm gonna pull the ponytail through and create my bun. And we're just gonna do that. Oop. Take a small little piece and I'm gonna wrap it around like that. And I'm gonna use this rubber band to secure that little piece of hair that we just tied around the top knot. I'm gonna go back in with my hairspray. I told you guys I use this thing for everything. I just kind of uh, hit that root right there. So that way the hair, just to kind of give it a little bit of extra hold so it doesn't unravel. I don't really care if it's like perfect or not. I just don't want it to like unravel. I kind of want this to be a little bit shorter. I feel like it's a little too long. So let me just go ahead and cut where I want it to be. I'm gonna go in with my razor comb and just do a little thin comb. Nothing crazy. Just to like finish this off, I see, you see how it's kind of like going into my face? I kind of want the hair to be pushed out. So I'm just gonna take my, and just like push it out like that. And then I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of hairspray and just kind of like touch up any flyaways. So I don't want the hair to get like super crunchy or anything. So I'm gonna keep this hairspray pretty far away. So that's the hair, super cute, really easy. And yeah, I feel like it looks really bomb with like these highlights here. You can still see like all the highlights and everything. So this looks really cute. I'm totally here for it. Yeah, that's pretty much it for the hair. So I'm gonna go ahead and do one eye off camera and then I'll be back to show you guys the makeup look. So I've done one eye. This is the look right here. Let me show you guys the inspo pic because I'm low-key kind of scared right now. I haven't done this type of eye look in so long and it's making me like kind of nervous. I don't know why, because I'm weird. Um, but yeah, this is the look right here. This is by El Torres Beauty. I just recently found him on Instagram. Um, I love love i adore his work like i really do it's it's just so it's so stunning his line work is impeccable like the color choices that he makes are just beyond me so <laughs> i've been like dying to like recreate one of his looks i'm gonna go ahead and start off by priming my eyes as usual i'm using a mixture of the makeup forever matte velvet skin and 4.5 and 5.1 to carve underneath my brows first real quick and then i'll go in with my eye primer i don't really like when my my brow bone like when that area is like a little is like too light i like it to be kind of like closer to my skin tone oh you know what actually what am i doing i need some chapstick like my lips are hella dry i'm gonna put on a little bit of the Too faced lip injection and maximum plump to just kind of like keep my lips nice and hydrated and it just makes my lips like plump before i go in with all of my other lip products so for this look, I'm pretty much going to be going into two different palettes. The main one that I'm going to be using is the Beat Down palette by playing in Makeup by Yolando and Beats by Deb. Looks like this. If you follow me on Instagram, then you've probably seen this palette before. 
This is the one time that I'm going to give you guys permission to go ahead and log off this video and follow Beats by Deb and Playing in Makeup by Yolando because both of those ladies are amazing with the makeup brush amazing make sure you come back so you can see the look and everything like that but this is pretty much what the palette looks like right here <laughs> oh, it's so pretty oh my gosh honestly it's the depth for me it really is like these colors have so much depth to them and i truly truly love that in a palette i'm just gonna go in with my paintbrush here this is a simply simmons filbert number 10 and i'm just gonna start carving underneath the brows So once I have my shape down, I'll take the concealer outward into like this area right over here. Just make sure to blend it really well. And then I'm also gonna take it on the inner portion. Not too much though, just enough to like kind of conceal those areas. I'm gonna take this concealer too, like up here. Usually I'll just stop right here, but I'm actually gonna take it up here. And this is because I'm doing a wings look. I don't know if you guys can tell here, but it's kind of like pulled, up. it pulls up at the end of the brow. So when I do pull the cut crease upwards, you know, that eyeshadow in that area has, you know, something to stick onto as well. Next, we're gonna go into our eyeshadow primer. This is the Be Perfect Perfect Prime Eyeshadow Primer. I've been using this for a very, 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 very long time. It's just a really great, you know, eyeshadow primer. I like it. It works well with all of my eyeshadows. Doesn't give me any issues. Makes everything super pigmented and all that other stuff. I don't have any creasing. You know, it, it pretty much hits all of the major points. So that's why I continue to use it. Once I have that on my lid, I'm just gonna go in with a really fluffy brush, kind of dense. This is a BH Cosmetics. This is from the Weekend Vibes set. And this is brush number four. And we're just gonna buff that into that concealer that we applied before. And having that concealer there just makes that eyeshadow primer blend in a lot more smoothly. See, I'm still taking it outward, like into the, the brow bone and stuff, but the concealer is making it so that the eyeshadow primer isn't ridiculously light against my skin tone. I'm going in with my Beauty Bay Times Nikki Tutorials eyeshadow palette, and I'm going to use the shade Amsterdam, which is this really, really beautiful blue eyeshadow right over here. I'm using a Morphe M507 to apply this. The Morphe M507 is gonna be a lot more tapered, so I like to use it for these types of, you know, looks where I need like tons more precision and, um, but it's still slightly fluffy so you can get a really nice blend with it as well. I'm just gonna slowly build this color up. This is a pressed pigment so you're not gonna need a whole lot of eyeshadow. Make sure you're using really light pressure so you're not like making your eyeshadow skip and you get that really smooth blend. color is so pretty. As soon as I opened up that palette, I like instantly fell in love with that blue. It's just so stunning. And it's not like the typical kind of like aqua green blue, like it's that very like true blue. So now I'm just going in with my makeup wipe. I'm just using a Neutrogena wipe and I'm just gonna clean up my crease. Pretty much just following the same shape that I see I'm covering my eye. I knew I was gonna do that. Let me turn to the side. This is the reason why I turn to the side, so I can hold up my mirror and look at my mirror and not cover my face. <laughs> Some people are like, why don't you look forward? Because if I looked this way forward, I would literally be covering my face and you guys wouldn't be able to see anything that I'm doing. I'm just going in and following that same exact shape that I created with that blue eyeshadow. And I'm doing this because once I go in with my concealer to actually cut the crease, I don't want my concealer to blend in with that blue eyeshadow that we just created and create like a muddy, disgusting mess on my eye and like mess everything up. So now we get to go into this one right here. Yes. This is the um, Playing in Makeup by Yolando times Beats by Deb, the Beat Down palette. And uh, all the other shades that I'm gonna be using for this look are gonna come from this palette right here. And I'm gonna use some other pigments as well, but for eyeshadows, everything else is coming from here. So the next color that I'm gonna go into is Lucid Dreams, which is this really beautiful blue at the bottom. Going in with a Morphe M506, I'm gonna start blending out the edges of that 
blue that we applied before. And I'm not using a lot of this color. As you can see, it's plenty pigmented. You don't need a lot. So make sure you tap off all that extra if you have some and just gently graze the edges and pull that color further out than your lash shade. Just like that. And then I'll go back in with Amsterdam from the Nik Nikki Tutorials palette and just retouch that shade on the crease. Sometimes your shadows will get, you know, lost in the blending process. So don't worry if you feel like you're needing to reapply your, your shadows, that's completely normal. Now that we're all done with that, I can go ahead and cut the crease with my actual like cut crease mixture or whatever. So I'm gonna use the same Makeup Forever Velvet Skin Concealer. I'm gonna use the lightest shade 4.5. I'm also gonna mix in just a tiny bit of this color right here. I have my same Simply Simmons brush and I'm just gonna start cutting the crease. I think that is it. That is literally the fastest cut crease I've ever done in my entire life. I'm gonna go back into that same blue eyeshadow from the Nikki Tutorials palette, um, Amsterdam. This time I'm gonna use that eyeshadow with a really flat, skinny eyeshadow brush. So this is the Colored Range Shadow Brush. I got this in the PR package with the Safari collection from Colored Rain. And I held onto it ever since because as soon as I like saw it, I was like, that's gonna be you want to be a good cut crease brush. And I was right. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and start basically carving out the shape of the second cut crease. I'm just gonna take this eyeshadow and press it down in like the shape that I'm going for. I'm basically rubbing the color to get it on and then I'll go in with like tapping motions to pack it. And I'm gonna stop like maybe like right over here and then leave that little space empty because we're gonna put some orange like right in there. So I wanna make sure to keep that space free for that orange in the middle. And this is where having like a nice like flat brush is gonna come in handy because we're gonna take this brush and start turning it Like that. You saw how I did that? And that's pretty much how I'm gonna create the winged effect. Like this wing that you see out here, that's all this brush right here. Then once I have my shape, I'm just gonna take that same color and start filling in the inner and outer corners. And I'm using padding motions for this to really pack on the color. It's a little messy right here, so we're just gonna take this and clean it up because I wanna go in with some concealer again. Okay, so next color that I'm going into, I think I'm gonna use Lucid Dreams again. I think that's the color that I use. Like trying to remember everything that I did on the other eye can sometimes be a task. I'm gonna go in with um, Lucid Dreams first and just start to blend out the edges of that dark blue. These eyes are gonna be like hella un uneven. As I took that dark blue, like way much further in than I did the other eye, but that's okay.
I be like gassing myself up in my head sometimes. I can't even lie to you. <laughs> I be like, yes, Tiff, you did that. You did that. You made that blend. Then I gotta humble myself before I like mess up because that's usually what happens. So next up, I'm going into the shade Juicy right here. <laughs> it really is called Juicy though. So this bright orange right here, I'm gonna go into that one and I'm gonna start adding that on to that empty space that we left open on the lid. I'm just gonna tap that in. I'm not gonna take it too much into that lighter blue. Blue and orange don't really blend all that well together. If I blend it too heavily into the blue, it's gonna start to look like more muddy. So I'm just gonna kind of like lightly tap over it just a little bit and then just stop. So now I'm gonna go into my Radioactive Pigment by Mellow Lops because she has like some of the best neon pigments. These pigments have names, but I don't know the exact names of them because they don't have like the little like names on the bottom or anything like that. But I'll try and put find it online and um, put it down below in the description. But it is an orange type of color. So I'm gonna take a little bit of that on the same brush that I use. This is a Makeup Addiction uh, Precision Shader. And I'm just gonna add that right in the center of that orange that we applied before. And this is just gonna give us like that extra pop of neon that we know and love. Ooh, baby. Oh, <laughs> I'm so good. I love you. All right, so that's pretty much it for our orange pigment. Love these little guys. They're just so insanely, insanely pigmented and they look freaking amazing. And to finish up this eye look, because that's pretty much it. Like the only thing that I have missing is this little bit of shimmer right over here. Like how dope is that? Like you can see the, like the highlight as you turn. Oh, I love it. I'm gonna go in with my Peaches pigment in the shade Mermaids. I'm gonna use this with the NYX glitter primer. So this guy right over here, I'm going to add it not all over the like outer corners. I'm only gonna add it on like the lash line type of area. And then I'm gonna dip into my Mermaids pigment and then I'm gonna add that right on top. And then I'll take a little bit more and we're gonna kind of like drag it into the outer corner because I want it to kind of be like a slow, like gradient of pigment. So that's pretty much it for eyeshadow. All I'm gonna do is add like my mascara and lashes at this point. So the mascara that I'm gonna be using today is from Milk Makeup. This is the Kush Mascara, looks like that. So I'm just gonna do a couple of coats onto the lashes real quick, and then I'll add my falsies. And then for lashes today, I'm gonna be using a pair from Crystal Lashes. These are in the style Mary Jane. They're just kind of like a really nice fluffy lash, but they stick more straight out and up. So I like these ones because they kind of like lift my eye up. I'm gonna go ahead and move on to skin now that we're all done with the eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and use my um, Neutrogena Makeup Wipes first to cleanse the skin of any like debris from my eyeshadow and all that other stuff. Get rid of any like oil that may have been kind of like formulating on my T-zone. I'm gonna wipe off all of that lip product too. I don't like when my foundation, like I'm applying foundation and I like get to like my mouth area and there's like lip product there. Like that kind of like 
grosses me out a little bit. So I'm just gonna wipe all that off too. <laughs> so I'm gonna go in with a couple of skincare products first. The moisturizer that I'm using today is from Wishful. So this is their Honey Bomb Jelly Moisturizer. I do believe that this is like a newer release. I've used this moisturizer a couple of times and I actually really like it. Like the ingredients in it are really cool. They have like lavender, honey, niacinamide, and turmeric. I'm just gonna do add a little bit of that onto the skin. Just kind of work that in there. Cause we basically wiped away everything on my skin. So I just want to bring back some like moisture into the skin. So I like this moisturizer a lot. It smells good, makes the skin feel nice. So I like to use it. Next, I'm gonna go in with some eye cream. This is the Peach and Lily Pure Peach Retinoic Ice I, I was about to say ice cream. Eye cream, and this is their Brighten and Tighten um, formula. So I'm gonna use a little bit of that on the under eyes because we're gonna be doing some baking today, honey. We're gonna be baking these under eyes that they need all the moisture they can get. Make sure that under eye bake goes on like a dream. And our eye cream is gonna help make sure that happens. So to prime, I'm going to be using a oldie but a goodie duo. I'm going to use the Rose um, Prep and Brighten Face Oil by Milani. I'm going to go in with this first. And then I'm going to use the Rose Primer from also from Milani right after. I went back in with these products a couple of days ago to take some pictures for Instagram. Just kind of like messing them around. And um, I really like them. Like, I, it just sort of kind of reminded me why I like them so much. Like, it just makes the skin look really good. And right after, I'm gonna go in with the rose primer, like I mentioned. So this guy right here. So I'm gonna add a little bit of rose primer onto the fingertip right here. Just work that in as well. At the, oh no, there's a pimple forming here. Dang it. Ah, I could feel it. It's like right underneath the skin there. Uh, dang it. I'll try to add something tonight to see if I can get rid of it before it gets too bad. I have my primers on. We're gonna go ahead and move into foundation. Gosh, I'm so mad about that stupid bump or pimple forming right here. Like it hasn't quite hit the surface, so you can't really see it, but I can feel it. So it's gonna be like one of those like under the skin, yucky. <laughs> I hate those pimples so much. They're like the only ones that show up on my skin these days too. Like I don't get any other types. It's just the ones that are like under the skin now. I'm starting to think mine's is like more hormonal more than anything. Cause it usually comes around the same time every single month. There's like one that pops up on the cheek. So it makes me think that it's like hormonal. I've been trying to kind of like, you know, be more mindful of my sugar intake and all other stuff. Like I'm, I was pretty mindful about it before, but now I'm even more like kind of like stickler about it. Ooh, this is about to be a good skin day. I didn't even tell you guys what foundation I'm using. This is the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop. Mm -mm. This is the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Foundation in shade Nutmeg. I've been using this over the last couple of days, um, more so because it says that it's a 24 hour wear, which I can kind of agree with, I guess you can say. Well, I don't even know because I've never worn foundation for 24 hours. And if you are wearing for foundation for 24 hours, yes, I am judging you. I am judging you very hard because I don't understand why you would have makeup on your face for that long. That's just not okay. But it does last for a really long time. It does a really great job of like keeping my oily T-zone at bay. So I've been using it over the last couple of days and I actually do really like it. I feel like I've been pulling out all of the like foundations in my kit that are a little bit more, you know, 24 hours, long lasting, no transfer, like that type of thing. I've been trying to like gear towards like those types of foundation just because, you know, we're wearing masks and stuff. And I still like to wear makeup, but I don't want my makeup to just like, you know, disappear once I take off my mask. And the brush that I'm using is from Sigma. This is their F47 brush. I love Sigma foundation brushes. Like they really make great blending or foundation blending brushes. The next thing I'm gonna go in with is the Born This Way um, Sculpting Concealer. I'm using the shade Cookie, and we're gonna use this to start under or highlighting all of the high points. I'm 
just gonna go in with that same foundation or same brush that I used to apply my foundation and just go in and blend out the edges first. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of the Pat McGrath concealer as well. This is the Skin Set Fetish Concealer in number M16. And I'm also gonna use that underneath the eyes, but because this is a little bit lighter, I'm just gonna go on the inner portion right here. So I'm not taking this like all the way under the eyes, just on the inner part. And I'm gonna take that same little smaller brush that I used before and just blend that out. I'm gonna add my liquid blush. I'm just gonna use the one from Rare Beauty. I've been really, really loving these. I think the colors are so pretty. I'm just gonna like scoop some onto the back of my hand. I'm gonna use just like a little fluffy brush and just kind of like tap that into the cheeks. I love, love, love these little like liquid blushes, um, mainly because they come in different finishes. So there's like matte finishes and there's dewy finishes. And considering the fact that I'm using more matte foundations these days, I want to use um, blushes that are more on the matte side. Like if I were to use a kind of dewier type of blush or like a balmy blush on a matte foundation, like that's when you start to get like that separating and all their weird stuff happening and uh, that's not cute. So I like to use like matte formula blushes with my more matte full coverage foundations. Um, so that way I don't get like any like weirdness going on. Once I have my blush on, I'm gonna go in with my setting powder for the under eyes. I'm using the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Setting Powder in Sugar Cookie. So this is the translucent one. And I'm gonna use a brush to set my under eyes today. Before we go in with like our setting powder, you wanna make sure that you blend out all of these creases here first, cause we don't wanna set any creases or anything like that. So just make sure that that all is like blended in. I'm just gonna tap that on to the under eye area. And just, ooh, that looks so good. <laughs> and I'm not going in with like a lot of, a ton of powder or anything like that. I'm just going in with what I need to set the area. So setting powder is on. I'm gonna move into bronzer. I'm going in with the Fenty Beauty Sunstalker bronzer in shade Coco Naughty, and it looks like this. So I'm gonna use my Sigma F40 brush to apply that. I'm just gonna tap it into the powder. Nothing too crazy. And we're just gonna go in and add our bronzer. I'm gonna take some into the lace just a little bit, just to kind of tint that so everything blends perfectly. I'm gonna go in the Laura Mercier Honey Powder and use a little bit of that to bake right here on the sides of the nose. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fill in my brows while it's baking. I'm using the Precisely My Brow Pencil by Benefit. And I'm gonna brush my brow hairs through first. Just fill in my brows like how I normally do. To set the brow, I'm using the 24 Hour Brow Setter by Benefit. Before I go in to wipe off this bake, I'm gonna go in with the NYX Sweet Cheeks Matte Blush, and this one's in the shade Daydream. I'm just gonna add that onto the apples of the cheeks. 
just for a little bit of extra color right in there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and wipe off that bake now. To highlight, I'm using the Maybelline Master Chrome. This one is in Molten Gold. I'm just gonna go in with that same brush that I used to apply that, um, that shimmer on the eye, that mermaid's pigment. And just pop that onto the very center of the nose, the tip of the nose, and the sides right here. Then to fill in the waterline, I'm using the BH Cosmetics Power Pencil in the shade Beige. Then going in with that same blue from the Nikki Tutorials palette, I'm just gonna add that onto the lower lash line. I'm gonna go back in with that Milk Mascara and just add that to the lower lashes as well. So I'm just gonna add my lip now. I'm gonna start off with my NYX Lip Liner in Intimidate. And then to, for a little bit of extra depth, I'm gonna go in with a Melt Cosmetics Lip Liner in Edible. And then to fill in the lips, I'm using the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink, and this one is in Chai Genius. And of course, you guys know I gotta add a gloss. I'm gonna be using a new gloss from Morphe. This is the Happy Day, Happy Glaze Lip Gloss in shade Can't Wait. It's like a really cute, like pinky type of gloss with a little bit of uh, bluish reflex. We're just gonna try it out. Mm, she's cute, but I kind of wanna go in with Dolly. <laughs> So I'm gonna use Dolly from Booksome. You guys know that Painted by Spencer put me onto this one and she is so pretty. All right guys, and that is the finished hair and makeup look. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think of this makeup down below in the comments. I feel like it's been a long time since I've done a look like this, just like full on cut crease, drama, giving you pigments, glitter, everything. <laughs> but yes, let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. I always love to hear you guys' opinions and everything. Um, yeah, I know I didn't talk much in this video, so definitely let me know in the comments too, like what you guys want me to talk about during like these talks throughs because I feel like sometimes I like zone in and like really get into the makeup and everything like that so I can get a little quiet. <laughs> Let me know what you guys want me to like topics that you want me to touch on in the comments for sure so we have stuff to talk about and it's like things that kind of like interest you guys. But yeah that's pretty much it for this hair and makeup tutorial. Thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you so much for 300k. I'm so 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 grateful to you guys. Honestly I can't even believe that that's like a statement that I can actually make at this point in my life so I'm super grateful for you guys and I thank you so much just for being really supportive I love you guys so much <laughs> but thank you so much for watching let me know what you guys think down below in the comments don't forget to subscribe and hopefully I will see you guys in the next one